What if you found yourself surrounded by over 22 of the world's leading entrepreneurs, philanthropists, marketers, and investors, men and women that have all made over $100 million, spent $100 million on advertising, or received $100 million impressions, and they were all there to help you? You can ask them any questions that you wanted, tap into their vast business networks, and instantly download the wisdom that they've used to generate billions. You're getting immediate access to 50 plus online courses valued at thousands of dollars per course. You have an instant network of experts all surrounding you, locking arms with you and there to help you that know your field and know how to dominate in your field. So that way you can avoid expensive, costly mistakes. Now is the time to increase your skills and increase your income. To get aligned with people that have what you want, that have achieved what you want to achieve to once and for all take control of your life and your financial future. It's time to level up. What's going on everybody? Kosh Aesthetics Performance Coach here with you guys live, $100 million mastermind. Thanks again, Joel, Dan Fleischman for having me. Love being here doing these talks. They're very near and dear to my heart. Everything we talk about just, uh, you know, essentially just, you know, my life experience, right? What I know to be true, what saved me so much, uh, or things that have caused me so much pain and suffering that I can now encapsulate into a beautiful nugget of knowledge and give to all of you, okay? So I'm very happy and excited to share this topic. I know I say that every video, but I'm excited about all of them, okay? So this is why I wanna talk about why 95% of businesses fail, okay? Like that's what I wanna, I wanna talk about. And as well as, um, you know, just honestly, this might seem a little bit just, just bear with me on this one, but everything you hear from business gurus and marketing gurus, including myself, is, is completely wrong, okay? It's just completely wrong, 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 all right? It's not bullshit, not bullshit, but it is completely wrong, okay? And here's why, right? It's going to take you five minutes to lay this out. It's five minutes, right? If you can't focus for five minutes, then you're definitely not going to make it in business. I say that a little tongue-in-cheek, but it's also really, really true, okay? So let's get right into it, all right? Every business guru, every business book, every business course, a new tactic, a new strategy, a new mastermind, every piece of business education you could possibly learn is meaningless, meaningless, completely meaningless, until we address the reason that 95% of businesses fail, all right? So let's go ahead and pull out the whiteboard for this one. Um, ignore this little white ring right here. That's because there's a ring light in front of me. Just don't mind that, all right? But the whiteboard, okay? So like, why does this happen, all right? Like, why do 95% of businesses fail? If you walk in a room of 100 entrepreneurs starting out, yeah, it's so awesome, it's going so good, yeah. Yeah, 95% of them are going to be dead in a year or less, like just dead, they don't exist in the marketplace, all right? Nothing going on, beaten, battered off to apply for a job at Chase Bank, as Gary Vee always. <laughs> I love when you made that comparison. Anyway, uh, so why does this happen, right? I really pondered on this one for quite some time, right? Is it because business is hard? right? You know, no, no, business is not hard. If you live in America and have a stable internet connection, anybody in the mother can build a 10K a month business. It's not that hard, right? Now, if you live in a third world country with shitty internet, then yeah, okay, that, that's really hard, right? But if you're in America, that's totally not an issue, all right? So I remember my first year of business, I made a quarter million dollars. It's right there, easy, no problemo, all right? If I can do something for four to six hours a day for a year and make a quarter million dollars, all right, that is not hard, all right? You know what is hard? Going to college for four years. That's hard. Becoming a professional athlete. That's hard. All right. That, that's hard, right? But building a business, no, that's just, that's not hard. That's actually very easy. Okay. So, so why do people fail? Why do people fail? Right. Let's get into that right now. Right. Is it because they don't have the right tactics? Right. Is it because like, you know, they don't have the right strategy, you know? I mean, if you look at any tactics on YouTube, right? Like just all these various tactics are all out there, right? Like Shopify, Amazon FBA, email marketing, coaching, consulting, right? Like whatever, whatever it is that you want to do, right? They all work, right? They all work. There, there's a hundred, actually thousands of examples of people making full-time incomes, million dollar incomes in every single one of these niches I just laid out. They all work. And 95% of the tactics are shared on YouTube for free. You just have to piece them all together, right? So are you not successful because of some magic course someone is holding or some information that some business guru has who talks really smooth and has a lot of likes on Facebook and Instagram, right? Is it because he's holding some secret tactic? Yeah, no, no, that, that's not what it is, right? It's not that at all. All the tactics you need are out there or they're all out there. Just go YouTube, search Google, right? Find them, shit, read a book, you know, that's all out there, okay? So it doesn't come down to tactics. Everyone has the same tactics. 
And I just want to stress to you that the thing that's holding you back from being successful or growing your business is, is not a magic tactic. I really just want to stress that, okay? It has nothing to do with tactics. You can turn off YouTube right now, turn off, you know, wherever this is being played right now, and never read another book again. And if you just do this one thing that I'm going to show you and explain, you will be extremely successful, all right? It's 95% of the problem, okay? That's it. Now, this does not come down to IQ or intelligence, all right? I need to go through the stuff I'm about to talk to you guys for you to get this, but just, just bear with me. No, it does not. All right. I guarantee you a dumb person that does these things that I am about to talk about will run circles around a genius that does not get this. All right. And why can I say this? Because I've seen so many geniuses fail at business. I mean, shit, I was almost one of them. Okay. That's why I'm making this video it's to save everyone else from the dumb shit I used to do. All right. So why do people fail? All right why you should stop listening to business tactics and gurus, right? There's a great, great quote. There's a great quote that talks about this by Gary Keller. All right. He's the author of the book called the one thing, right? It's a good book to read. Um, and that quote is make sure every day you do what matters most. When you know what matters most, everything makes sense. When you don't know what matters most, anything makes sense. Okay. Just one more time real quick. Right? Make sure every day you do what matters most. When you know what matters most, everything makes sense. When you don't know what matters most, anything makes sense. Okay? The key word there is anything. And yes, that anything is all the stuff that you're doing right now. And more importantly, why you have justified doing everything that you're doing. All right? I want to pause right now and just, you know, reflect. If you're watching this live, don't pause. If it's on a rerun, you should pause and reflect on this one. And don't worry if it didn't quite resonate yet. Trust me, it will right after I explain this, okay? So it's really simple. It comes down to effectiveness, all right? More so, it comes down to focus and creativity, all right? And again, let me explain. Once you see this in graph form, it becomes wildly easy to understand. It's like the Sims video game, all right? Like, if you want to become super successful in the video game, all you do is make the Sim be in an optimal place every single day. And how do you do that? All right, just make sure the Sim doesn't do anything destructive to its goals <laughs> and make them read a book every single day and then boom, your Sim is president, right? Like, quite, quite literally. It's easy to become super successful in the game and it's also easy to become super successful in real life if you understand this. Now, to prove this to you, I'm going to... Go on, Mr. Whiteboard right here, okay? So here we are on the whiteboard. I'm going to show you in just a second a pie chart, all right, that breaks down my day. And then I'm going to show you a pie chart that breaks down a normal person's day, right? Now, I'm not showing you this to boast. Believe me, this is, not, this is just really just to make a point. Just, I just want to make it just so obvious, just so you can wrap your head around this, okay? So now understand, you don't have to be like me, all right? My goal is to be the number one high-performance coach in the world, right? Very big, lofty goal, right? So I do a lot of weird shit. Okay. All right. So you don't have to do all this weird shit. If you just want to have like, you know, um, like, you know, just like a million dollar, a couple million dollar business, you don't have to do all this weird shit. Okay. But depending on how grandiose your goals are, you know, just take it for what this is. Okay. But seriously, if you just look at some of the things I'm doing and adopt the thought process, key right there, just, just, if you just listen to me and then try to adopt the thought process. It's going to become abundantly clear how to get successful very easily. Right. If you don't get these things, it's, it's never going to be very hard. It's, it's, it's going to be extremely hard to get anywhere, get any consistent results in your business. I, honest to God, have zero idea how you cannot get these things and still be successful. It's unheard of. I've never seen it. Okay, I'm going to lay that out just a second. Just trying to build up the context here, okay? Context. All right. So I'm not going to go over every, like, minute of detail uh, that I, you know, but I'll give you a pretty good, pretty good overview, okay? Like, how my, how my day looks like, all right? I work six hours a day. Now, let me get this um, circle thing going here. So here we go. Circle. Boom. Pie chart of my day. Pie chart of my day. I work six hours a day, and two hours of that is study. Okay? Also, I do another uh, four hours of coaching calls roughly a day, but I don't really consider that work because I'm so skilled at it, and it's literally become like autotelic for me. I honestly have... Uh, more of a like guide type of a soul like I just that's what my soul likes to do is like guide people to results or their higher selves or wh whatever so coaching is honestly super fun for me it never really feels like work all right so honestly it makes me feel more wealthy than the money ever could but anyway that's going on that well, I mean, real quick real quick one of my clients Abe right he, he runs a digital marketing agency specializing in dental right 
And he said, I remind him of like that, like wise old man that like comes out of the fog on like a raft. You know what I mean? That you better cross the ocean of death, but like you just need him to get you there. You know, that, 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 that's how it is for me. So like, that's why I don't consider coaching work. It's just so in line with who I am. Um, so anyway, so here, here's my day. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Right, there's like, I'm gonna just put CC for like coaching calls, right? And then here's like work, right? And then this is like fun. I have a lovely girlfriend. I spend time with her. So let's put GF. Excuse the bad handwriting. Brain moves too fast for my hand to keep up sometimes. So it's just what it is. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Anyway, so like pie chart, right? So, I mean, just, just bear with me. It's going to be just like, you know, shitty drawing, but like it's going to just make a point here in a second, okay? So, uh, so like eight hours a day, I'm like, so literally like eight hours a day, I'm working towards my goals. Eight hours a day, right? So I wake up at about like 4.30, right? And I'm very focused morning routine for three hours, right? I'm constantly training, meditating, doing cleanses, fasting, keeping my gut clean so that my mind is sharp, right? I'll get into that here in just a second, the whole gut clean thing. I'm, just, I'm really going to go deep in that. But by about 7.30 a.m., I'm working, right? And I get done around 3.30 p.m., right? So now I'm not working for eight hours nonstop, right? There's some people that do that. If that's you, great. I don't think that's all the way necessary. But if you can't get something done in eight hours a day, if you can't move the needle forward in eight hours a day, then you're simply just not doing enough, all right? And in my opinion, as a CEO, your job comes way more down to making a few good decisions than working eight hours a day, all right? The rest of the time, I'm doing coaching calls, rollerblading, hanging out with my girlfriend, you know, or, um, yeah, food. I love eating food, going to nice restaurants. Um, now I could get into, like, um, you know, I could, like, just talk about, like, how to be more effective and free of time, like having a house manager or someone do your errands, but I'm not going to get into any of that. None of that even matters right now. Okay, so the most important part is this stuff right here, right? Here's my work time right? Just, I'm just put a smiley face, work time. Like that's like the work time. And then also like these coaching calls, it's kind of like work, but like not really not for me. Okay. Just bear with me. Okay. So that's like the most important thing for me right here. So <clears throat> the reason it's very easy for me to build a business and anyone who does this, and by no means am I special. Okay. I just want to say I'm not special. I know everyone says that, but seriously, I'm, I'm not very special. I want to stress that. There's probably a thousand people watching this that have a much higher IQ than me and a much higher potential than I do. Okay, you just need to understand this because once you do, everything becomes very easy, all right? I see so many beginners that once they do this, everything just becomes very, 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 very easy for them, okay? So during this work time, right? This, this, this work time, switch to green. Maybe I'll just do that. Here you go. During this work time, this happy time here, like I just am laser focused, all right? I do not have Facebook on. I do not have access to Instagram. I do not watch TV. You cannot call me. You cannot text me. Like nothing. Zero, 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 zero. There's, there's nothing happening. Just, just me. But on top of that, I optimize the shit out of my sleep, all right? I optimize my brain, right? You want to know what I do in those first three hours of the day, morning routine? I wake up, ground myself in the most sickening, beastly work ethic energy that you can think of, all right? Work out, do cardio. This is some kind of personal development, all right? I'm rolling out, rolling out my body, stretching, doing Tai Chi. All right, just make, making sure that my body is just retarded, optimized. Just, just, you know, I'm doing gut cleanses. I'm grooming, making sure my self-image is on point. Make, you know, just, I'm just meditating, doing my visualizations of the day. Like, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Now, like I said, you don't have to be as crazy as me, but just, just adopt the thought process. All right, so bear with me. This all makes sense as I move through this. All right, so all this is optimizing the shit out of my brain, guys. All right, all, that's what all this is doing, right? And you know why? Why optimize the shit out of my brain? It's because your brain is what controls your focus and creativity. Focus and creativity. I should write that down. Focus. That's what you need here. Focus. Oh, God. Bad handwriting. And creativity. All right. That's what's going on over there. Focus and creativity. Right? That's your actual IQ, right? That's your actual intelligence, right? You can take whatever IQ test you want. It doesn't matter because it's not going to get you... Um, excuse me, it's not going to test for um, creativity and focus. And those two things are what is going to amount to someone being successful. How long you can focus and how long you can wait for satisfaction, right? When you look at any of those tests they do when they're testing little kids, babies and stuff like that, all the kids that can focus the longest and delay gratification the longest are always the ones that end up to be the most successful, all right? 
So everything is coming down to optimizing my brain, right? I'm not going to go into like, you know, every little thing, right? And all that stuff, but you know, that's just what it is, right? Um, so look, absolute focus optimization, everything's laid out. Like I'm not drinking, I'm not eating bad food. Everything is designed such that if I was only putting in like three hours of work, if I was, it's like nuclear monster, like super Saiyan focus, insert any awesome word you can think of type of work. All right. So that's just, that's just the reality of the situation. Okay. Just, just think, you know, just very few people are, are approaching it this way. Right. It may start to seem a little bit more clear now about why these tactics and strategies are not nearly as important because if you're, if the level of your being is at, let's say just level 10, and then you're paid all this money for this tactic course mastermind that is at like level 50, you're not going to take your level 10 self to be able to wield that level 50 weapon or 20 or 30 or anything that is above your being, right? The level of you, right? It's just not going to work out. It's just going to blow up. It's just going to blow up. It's just not going to work, right? You just can't get an apple from an orange tree. It's just not going to happen, right? You got to get an orange tree to get oranges, right? A lot of people are over here with apple trees trying to get oranges and stuff for lack of a better analogy. But, you know, just, and again, you know, I know that this is like, I don't want to sound all like, hey, I got it all figured out. Like, believe me, I've learned all this, like, from other people, like everything, like, you know, everything you're going to learn is from other people, like 0.001% of your thoughts are probably going to be your own. Like, you just need to understand that. And you also understand that, like, right here in this green thing right here that I just highlighted, like in this time, like shit gets done. Like the shit just honestly just gets done. Okay. And again, I'm going to tie this all around to like, you know, the, the contrast of what's going to happen when most people get into business versus people that approach it like this real quick. It might be starting to become more clear now, but here we go. All right. So because I have a laser focused brain that's optimized to doing tons of cleanses, tons of stuff that clears out my mind, tons of stuff that frees up my digestion, um, gets rid of like zero brain fog. Like literally I can see through walls, like quite literally I could see through walls when I'm on point. I am, that is not an exaggeration, quite literally seeing through walls. Okay. I'm going to say, will this happen to you? Probably not. It's, it's a higher level version of these things, but anyway, not to digress. Just to show the magnitude, like literally it gets that crazy when you dial in everything I'm going to talk about here. And you know, if you're going to be able to make choices, like when your brain splits its focus, like when you, when you, when your brain splits its focus, you're just automatically at 50% capacity, right? You're just at 50%. All right. It's just not, it's not going to work out well. Right. If you're a genius, if you have a genius and have them work on three different things and a stupid person and have them work on one thing, I guarantee you the stupid person will win every single time. All right. All right. And I'm going to get into the whole split focus thing here in just a second. Jesus. Oh my God. I think it's just because I'm so passionate about this. Cause man, this gave me so many headaches in my earlier uh, years, my career. So, um, so, oh, beautiful. Let's talk about a standards person's day. That's what we need to do. Right. So here's my day. Focus and creativity. Awesome. Yay. All right, temporarily just gonna, I just put like a, just put the standards, just let's get a, another circle going here. All right, we're gonna call this me, all right, and then normal person. There you go. Look, even the circle's like more deformed. <laughs> oh God, crack myself up, right? So if you're just starting a business, you probably have like two to three hours a day to work with because you have probably have working a job, right? So if you're not working a job and you're trying to start a business and you don't have any money in your bank account, you need to go get a job. Like that's just, that's just the reality. That's the situation, right? You just need to have some money to live off of and feed yourself, right? If you can't feed yourself, then you're probably not going to be able to start a business. And I get that question all the time. Like, gosh, I don't have any money. I live in my mom's basement and uh, I'm missing a leg. <laughs> How do I start a business? I'm like, you don't, all right? You go, you go get a peg, get a job, go get a peg, go work at Walmart, get a job, right? So that being said, if you're trying to start a business, you probably have about three hours a day to work. All right. Three hours. Let's go ahead and just put that little three hour block right there. There you go. Three hours. Right. And then there's the rest of the day. That's three hours. <clears throat> now don't get too hung up on the number of hours. All right. So I'm, you know, I'm talking about the hours I'm working. The number of hours is irrelevant. Okay. But just, follow along for the sake of the example, right? So this all depends on what your goals are, right? Like I said, I'm trying to be the world's best performance coach. So, you know, that's why I work a lot more, right? If you're just trying to make a couple million bucks, you could totally do that in four or five hours a day. If those four or five hours are actually spent working. All right. And again, it's all coming together. All right. So it's about the thought process. It's about the thought process. So back to what normal people do. You got three hours, all right? The person is already, the person that already has a business, right? Eight hours, right? You know, 
that's 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 me in this example versus normal person right excuse my language but you are fucked you are fucked because people that go into business and start a business just look at what's going on here right here's this three hour work time that you have and then let's just pretend you are working in your business you have eight hours okay fine 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 let's just put eight hours like you are fucked if you think that you can compete with someone that is fully fully optimized all right like most people before they even sit down at the keyboard are operating at 30% of their capacity. Like they're just stupid. All right. Most people are just dumb. And it's not because they actually are dumb. It's because their brain is not connected to their intelligence, right? Their creativity and their focus. I want to stress that people aren't stupid, but they're in a stupid state of being. Okay. All right. Not calling anybody stupid, but you're showing up. All right. In a stupid way. Just, Oh my God. Right. Then when you look at these people and you look at anyone, this is why no tactic is ever going to help you, right? When you're checking into this three hour time period, right? Or eight hours or, or whatever, look at anybody, go anywhere, go sit in the bar or restaurant. How long can a person be in a conversation, right? Before just looking at their phone, right? Does everyone, everyone's looking at their phone, checking Facebook, checking Instagram. They look at what the, everyone knows what the Kardashians doing. Everyone knows what Trump's doing. They have completely clear knowledge about all those things, right? And they got 50 different messages popping up, right? They're constantly able to be contacted, and getting distracted, right? That's that split focus thing I'm talking about, right? So over this three hour period, what's happening to a person's focus? It's literally being ripped apart about 30 times, right? 10 times per hour. There are studies that are showing this. About 10 times per hour, some bullshit's happening, right? Getting a notification on your phone, Facebook, checking an email. So, you know, this work right here, this like three hour time block is really like, you know, 30 minutes. It's literally, just statistically, it's literally about 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes, right? That, that, that's what's going on there. 30 minutes of you working. And if it's eight hours, great. Might be 90 minutes of you working if you're doing the whole eight hour a day thing, okay? Now, that's just really just not good, right? Just, I mean, just think about it logically. Like, that's the reason most people fail. That's really, that, that's it. That, that's just, that, that, the, 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 they don't really know much more to say. Like, you, people are only, you can't do anything with 30 minutes of work a day or even 90. You know, that, that's why these magic tactics and strategies ain't working out for you. Right? Your state of being is not where it needs to be to actually even execute on these things, right? So now this is like, unfortunately, this is like 95% of entrepreneurs, right? 95%, right? It's 95, right? That's 95% of entrepreneurs, real, real talk right there. And um, oh, what do you know? 95% of businesses fail, huh? This is interesting. Uh, so thankfully, myself and my students have figured this out, all right? So unless your plan is to get extremely lucky or like climb an uphill battle, right? With, with, with the ball and chain, like eating leftover tacos from last night, right? I highly suggest you like you fix this, fix this right here, right? And like what's, what's causing this, right? People are getting into business and whatnot. You eat junk, you diet shit, your gut's all inflamed. If you can't think clearly, I guarantee you there's like this mounds of turds and parasites in your, in your gut. See what happens is here's your brain, here's your brain. It draws power from your gut. But what do you do at nighttime? Smoke weed and then, or drink and get your alcohol and just go eat gym boys tacos and, and all this stuff. Don't get me wrong, I do this too, on Friday or Saturday evenings, right? Or if I have a designated like not intensive day the next day, right? But this is just what happens, right? People just have like normal people habits and they're trying to solve a problem that 95% of people fail at. And you think, you think you're going to solve a problem that 95% of people fail at with only 30% of your capacity. Truth be told, even if you were at 100% capacity, it's still gonna be really fucking hard. But you think you can do it at 30%, which is literally where you're at. If your brain's, if, you, if your sleep isn't optimized, you're doing drugs and drinking, and your, your diet's all messed up, and you're doing nothing to get into alignment, that I'm not even gonna get into that, getting your mind, body, soul weaponized for the day. I'm not even gonna get into that. Just, just literally the amount of detrimental habits that you, got, that you have are just, seriously impairing your ability to have creativity and focus, which are the two main things that connect you to your intelligence. That is going to be why these tactics and strategies are just not working for you. Okay. It's because they are at a higher level than you can actually, that your being is at. All right. So, Oh my God, I'm literally sweating. <laughs> so, um, and this is the paradox of business because everyone's browsing around trying to find the magic course or the guru that knows something with the best tactic. And that's just not going to help anybody, right? Because you're putting 30 minutes a day or you're, you're putting in wasted time and your brain's not working properly. It, it's not doing what you want to do, right? You can have the best tactic on planet Earth. You're just going to suck at it, right? If you're putting in 30 minutes a day at it, right? You're just wasted, 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 wasted time, right? You got the best tactic in the world, just not going not gonna to work out. So 
while everyone's out here chasing down the right tactic, the right business advice, who has the best ideas, you're missing the whole picture, right? Because you can take an old idea. This is key. You can take an old plain ass idea and make 10 K per month doing it. Like, like people have been doing like email marketing, been around for like a decade, right? You could just do that at full power, right? For, you know, a couple hours a day and literally make 10 K per month. No problem. Or even 20 K, 30 K, no problem. You know, you can take an ancient tactic, like consulting been around for hundreds of years consulting, you know, in, in a way I do consulting with performance coaching, I'm consulting on high performance. Right. So, you know, you can even make that work. You can take an old plain ass idea, make it in 10 K a month. Everything works. All right. Your actual IQ goes through the roof and you're smarter than 95% of people. If you attain true focus and creativity mixed in with a little bit of energy and happiness, right? You put all that together. It's very easy to grow a business, right? Because if you're going to be effective at what you do, you need to learn very quickly. And you're going to get those feedback loops, right? You need those feedback loops. You do shit, collect information, and then internalize it. Then you know what I mean? Go back and do it again. Feedback loop, right? You're going to mess up very quickly. And you're going to see what works very quickly. And you're going to learn very rapidly if you're optimized, all right? And then you're going to get the 10K per month because you know what? It's just there. It's just something that's available for you, all right? just sitting right there right in front of you like hi hello would you like to hang out my name is 10k per month or 30k 100k whatever it doesn't really matter right whatever level the same thing pertains to anybody it doesn't matter what level you're at right all you have to do is sit down and focus but instead of what people are doing is they're focusing in uh, in, in something that reality they think it's like five hours but it's really 15 to 30 minutes of work it in, in this is yeah that's this ladies and gentlemen that's why 95 percent of businesses fail for that reason right there. People don't under, like, like, you know, this was me for a long time. This was me for a long time, buying the courses, seminars and tactics, and everyone else was just getting wild success. I was like in Facebook groups and whatnot. I was like, why isn't this working? Why is it working for everybody else? And uh, not me, right? I realized I was the problem, right? Then I went and fixed all this stuff that I'm talking about. And what do you know, right? Go look up your sleep chronotype. I mean, Jesus, if you don't know your sleep chronotype after this, go to YouTube, type in how to find your sleep chronotype, go Google it and just do that. Figure out that that'll just optimize your sleep right crazy. You'll just have way more energy. You'll be able to think clearly, right? Get your sleep down. Don't eat junk food. Jesus Christ, practice some intermittent fasting. A lot of you guys are like munching throughout your work day and digestion takes anywhere from 30 to 60%, excuse me, 30 to 70% of your body's overall energy. The process of digesting food takes over half of your energy. And you'd be like, oh, gosh, what if it's like only 30% of your energy? It doesn't fucking matter. It's still 30% away from you. And the chances are it's not 30%. The only way it'd be 30% is if you like had a smoothie and you're bypassing the stomach's, uh, you know, the stomach's job is just to like turn up the food so it can actually be absorbed. So even the smoothie, you would have to be having a liquid diet to maybe on, be close to that 30%. But why? Why? Just eat after work. Like if you're working, like just work. Just do that. Stop trying to do all these other things. Check in Facebook, Instagram, turn your phone off. Go to your TV, take out the power cord, throw it away. Go to your Xbox, take a hammer and smash it. I'm not joking. It's very symbolic. Literally break it, right? Go to your phone, delete every single app, all of them. If you need a, if you're an Instagram influencer, great. You can delete the app from the app store. It'll come back in 15 seconds, 15 seconds, right? We need to make your post. After you make your post, delete it again. And after you finish your work stuff, awesome. Redownload it, fuck around all my time while you eat your food. Right, like that just, you know, quick tangent. I really am just very, work time is work time. Or I don't do anything else, even eat, right? When you get into an intermittent fasting routine and whatnot, you get the stuff optimized. If you, if you have questions, I wanna go, I, I, you know, I don't I wanna stay on topic right now, but you know, hit me up on Instagram, DM me at Akash Aesthetics. That's A-K-A-S-H Aesthetics, A-E-S-T-H-E-T-I-C-S, Akash Aesthetics. I'll also say it again at the end of the video. Shoot me a DM. We can have a conversation about these things. I'd love to help. No problem. Um, seriously, if you guys got a question, I'm not going to like, oh, you have to pay. Like, no, if you have a direct question, I'll make you a little short video and answer you, give you some good tactics. I'm very passionate about this. All right, because it will really mess up everyone's mental health if you do not get this stuff down. <clears throat> so, yeah. I, I, I can't stress this enough. If your brain is constantly foggy all the time, I promise you, it's your gut. I promise you that. I promise because your problems you got 100%. If your brain is just you can't think clearly, it's you're it's going to draw power from your gut like I was just saying, right? Like literally the same neurons in your brain are the same neurons in your gut. That's why I tell you like follow your gut instinct kind of thing, right? 
All the creativity, all your thoughts, your focus is going to come from your gut. So if you're constantly eating fast food every single day, you have a crappy diet, guess what? You're just dumb, all right? You're just dumb. You're not dumb. You're just in a dumb state of being, right? This isn't like me saying, oh, do this because it's good for your health. While that may be true, that is not why I'm saying do this. I'm saying this because it drastically increases your ability to think, right? If your brain's messed up, you need, that's, you can't be a business owner with a messed up brain. It's not going to work out, right? A lot of the beginning of the game is just figuring that whole thing out, right? <sighs> so you wrap up all these things, right? You got a powerful work for, focus habits with energy, creativity, happiness, all which comes from the brain, health optimization. Yay, great, great, great. Listen, if you do that, you optimize your sleep, you optimize your energy, you optimize your eating, you optimize your digestion, you get on a good routine that keeps you optimized. You block out distractions, right? You block, I can't say this enough, you're working, 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 you get a, a ding, a text message, something like that, splits the focus, right? It splits the focus. And you're already at like 30, 40% capacity and now it's like 20. And guess what, that happens 10 times an hour. Now you're down to like two, 3%. Like you think you might be busy, but you're actually just doing a whole bunch of low IQ work. If you really just reflect on what you did the whole day in your fucked state of being, and you think you had a good day, you did not really do move the needle work, all right? You literally just did very low IQ, busy work that makes you feel like you did something, you know, but it's not really getting you anywhere. You do that stuff long enough, and next thing you know, you're depressed and buying other courses, and then credit's all messed up, and then it's just a downward spiral from there, all right? So the last thing I want to leave you all with, right, um, is, and I'm certain 99.99% of this video right now is, I, you guys watching this, I'm, I'm just certain that all of you are trying to brute force it, all right? I guarantee you, you guys listening to me right now, probably a little bit angry, probably, at, you know, might be directed at me, but it might be also probably just yourself and you're directing it at me, right? I guarantee you it's because you guys are trying to brute force all of this. You know your health needs to be good. You know you need to be focused. You know you need to be creative. You know your brain doesn't work like how it did when you were 15 years old, all right? You know you're massively distracted. You know you have all these balls and chains, right? Figuratively, like you just walk around as like balls and chains, like you're a prisoner and stuff like that, like that you're carrying around. Like you, you know that's happening, but you feel so attached to them and you're lugging them around in your entrepreneurial journey, right? You got all these balls and chains weighing you down. You're like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna pretend it's all okay right? You know what? I'll be successful despite all of these things, all right? <laughs> and I'm telling you this because I tried to do that for a long time. Please learn from my pain. Um, you know, my business was super plateaued for years, right? I was making money, but not nearly what I wanted. I was sad, depressed all the time, spending money on courses, banging my head against the wall, all that jazz, you know, and it just all in all was not a good situation. So, don't, if, if, if that's you, just, just, if that resonated right now, that's a tall tale sign, please, you know, take that for what it is. Don't do that. This, like, why would you do that despite all these things? Like, because if you look at any winner in any industry, they do not have any of these balls and chains, right? They don't have any of this, right? You look at anyone that's killing it, they just don't have that going on. They don't have all these detriments, right? And you, you see these people killing it and you think they're killing it because they have some crazy IQ or some crazy tactic or strategy or special marketing. You know, you think they have some crazy advantage that you don't have. But when in reality, when you look at them, they just don't have those fucking balls and chains. They don't have these detrimental habits. They don't have messed up gut. Their sleep is just on point. They're fully optimized, right? They just don't have that kind of stuff. They don't have distractions. They're laser focused, right? Look at the, I mean, if you look at some of these guys, they're psychopaths with this stuff. They're sociopaths with this stuff. Look at professional athletes. Look at Steve Jobs. Look at all the billionaires in China. They're sociopaths. They've cut out everything that doesn't serve their purpose or their dharma, you could call it, right? They've cut all that out. Now, again, this is back to the beginning of the video. I'm like, hey, depending on how grandiose your goals are, you don't have to do all this. But like I said, the thought process, that's what I want to instill in all of you, right? They cut all that stuff out, right? They did. But you... You want to try and be successful without doing these things. You still want to hold on to those precious dead weight. You know, the best of the best, the most talented have eliminated all that shit. They've eliminated all of it. Just it's dead. It's not, it doesn't exist with them. All right. And now here you come along and you want to go and play in the same arena as them. And they're more talented than you. And you still think you're going to be able to survive with an 80% slowdown which is that ball and chain, 
80% slowdown, right? If this was Call of Duty, you're playing with prestige level 10 people and you just got a pistol and a knife, all right? Like, and, and, and you're the guy and, and you don't even know how to shoot, right? All you have to do is just knife people. And you have to play the whole match in red zone already. Like, you know, like if you guys play Call of Duty, you get shot a couple times, like screen turns red, like you're bleeding out. Yeah, that's you all the time. And you're trying to play with prestige level 10 people. You're wondering why you're running all these ads and it's not converting, right? Like it's because they run the ad space because their energy just penetrates through the camera so much crazily because they're fucking fully optimized, right? Like you really think you're going to step on the court and play ball with these people? Like, like th that's insane. Because as soon as you do, you're going to find someone that's 100% optimized in what you are doing. And you're like 15% optimized in what you're doing. Like get the fuck out of here. There's no chance. You're dead. You can't compete with him. This is no way. And that's just how it's going to go, right? It's just no, you're trying, you know, that's no wonder why you fail. That's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Just fix that shit. Just fix whatever you're doing to shoot yourself in the foot. All right. And then, you know what? Suddenly, every tactic, every strategy, they all work because you work. All right. So, so many other things that go into being successful at business, but what I just talked about is 95% of it. All right. Be an entrepreneur, be professional. All right. Professionalism, be professional at what the fuck you do. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. Questions. Awesome. Questions. All right, cool. Look at my phone. Question. Are there any supplements to help you energize your brain that you would recommend? Um, yeah, you know, like ginseng, right? There's a lot of good, like, nootropics out there, like alpha brain, stuff like that. Um, I don't really take any of them. I would recommend the natural routes of just, you know, not having your gut inflamed. That would be just number one. Like, if you had an inflamed gut and you took a brain supplement, that's going to help you maybe 5%, 10%, but the detriment of your gut being inflamed is like 80%. So you would just essentially waste your money. Um, what foods are good to eat? Next question. What foods are good to eat to help us maximize our potential? Whole foods, whole foods, any whole foods, any whole foods, just, just go on YouTube, go on Google, just type in whole foods. Um, just any, like if there's stuff you can't pronounce on the back of the food, don't eat it. If you can't pronounce a word, if you don't know what that is, don't eat it. It'll mess you up. And again, I recommend intermittent fasting during the workday. Um, after, after you want to break your fast, uh, you can be a little bit more lenient. Again, you can't eat garbage because then that'll mess you up in the morning time uh, for the next day. But um, just eat whole foods, guys. Eat whatever whole food in whatever quantity. All right? Like, I guarantee you, if you're getting fat, it's not because you ate too much vegetables, oatmeal, and egg whites. Uh, what are your favorite healthy gut foods? You know, so, I, so here's the really cool thing that happens is um, – when you eliminate garbage, when you just stop eating dumb shit, like you all know, all right, you know, before you eat something, if it's good or not, you know, all right. So if you got to think about it, like, uh, should I eat this right now? It's an automatic no. All right. And guess what? You do that long enough. You start getting really resourceful and really creative with the foods you can eat through me doing this, right? Just making it an automatic no for foods that will fuck up my gut and fuck up my brain and fuck up my business and mess up my bank account. Cause that's really how you have to think about it. That burger or that, you know, deep fried, whatever the fuck is literally going to cost you money. That's how you need to be thinking about it. But point is once you stop doing that, like I found, I got so creative. I started getting like, I found keto cookies, zero carb cookies. I found cookies that literally it's like peanut butter swerve and like an egg. And they taste so good like cookies. I figured out like the, the natural foods co-op over there, over here by my house. You can go like Whole Foods and stuff. I know because we're on lockdown, the buffet and stuff isn't closed because of the pandemic and, and all that stuff. But um, the point is like there's so many tasty ass Whole Foods. Like, oh my God, I'll put like some white rice, some black beans, some hummus, some avocado, crazy seasonings, nice 85 lean ground beef. Oh my God, little tortilla on the side. Oh, I'm living. I'm drinking a kombucha. I'm chilling. It's a party in my mouth. I'm not saying you got to eat just rice and chicken all day. Fuck no. The problem is you think you have to read, right, eat rice and chicken all day, but you don't really, uh, you just haven't been exposed to the universe of healthy food out there because um, 
you know, they don't advertise that kind of stuff because it's way more easy. It's easier to, you know, uh, to sell fast food. I'm not even going to go down that tangent. The whole fast food makes you get sick, ruins your body, drives up medical bills, insurance companies, pay out the pharmaceutical companies, big circle fucking situation. That's all bad right there. So next question. Any recommendations on how to boost your IQ? Yes. Don't eat junk food. Wake up early when the sun comes up. Get in bed when the sun goes down. Learn your sleep chronotype. Don't eat bullshit food and do some sort of physical activity. You'll be a genius every single day. Just do that every single day. You'll be a genius. People, people hear this stuff like, really? That's it? I'm like, yes. Yes, that is it. No one does it. Nobody does it. Just look at all your friends. Look at everybody else. Look at all the other entrepreneurs you love. They're not doing it. Not, right? If you look at anyone that's fucking crushing it, they're doing it. Is there a way to turn back the clock on our brain? Turn back the clock on the brain. If you wrote that question, I'm not sure what you mean by that. If you could um, clarify. If you wrote, turn back the clock on your brain? What do you mean by that? Yeah, please clarify. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Next question. How do you convince people around you, spouse, kids, friends, to make healthier, more effective choices to keep them on your level? You don't convince them to keep them on your level. They leave. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the cold world, guys. It's the cold world. Right. You level up and either they're going to feel that energy off of you and get on the ship or you're just going to take off and they're going to be stuck and they're going to leave. And then you'll have to deal with that. And then other things can happen. They will start, you know, pointing either either one, they're going to level up or two, they're going to start trying to bring you down consciously or subconsciously. It will happen. If you're going to get anywhere in your life, if you're going to get anywhere in your business, you're going to have to leave people behind. This is just a truth of life because, again, this ain't meant for everybody. This life ain't meant for everybody. This is meant for literally 5% of people. That's why 95% of them can't cut it, right? So the probability that people in your proximity, old friends, relationships, loved ones, stuff like that, the probability that they're in that 95%, excuse me, that they're in that 5% is very low. All right, so you just got to come to terms with a lot of people are not going to come with you, all right? But listen. You got to do it anyway, because if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else, right? You cannot give to anyone what you do not have to offer. And right now you're in the process of getting something to offer. So you do whatever it takes and be ruthlessly convicted in what you need to do to get what you need done. Okay. What messes with your gut? Anything other than whole foods, processed foods, fast foods will fuck you up. Restaurant foods, unless you're ordering it like, a, unless you're eating at a fine dining, high class restaurant. Right. I mean, if you're going to BJ's and you're not like if you're ordering like a salad and stuff like that with like some chicken and whatnot, it's just um, chances are it's just not going to not going to go well for your gut. Just eat whole foods and try to minimize eating out and just no fast food, no alcohol, no drugs. That all it's not good. Um, am I saying you can't do that ever? No, just stop doing that during the work week. Right. Shit. Do it Friday night and Saturday you can recover. Sunday plan for the week to come. Just let the devil out Friday night and Saturday morning and Saturday night even. Just the, yeah, and just be a freaking monk during the week. It's not that hard. That's what I do. Um, do you notice you are more productive in certain environments? Yeah, 100%. Um, 100%. Like, you know, I'm at my house right now. I'm, you know, I'm very high energy um, type of house. You got like, you know, a lot of crystals. My lady, it's just my lady and I here. Um, our energy is very high. If you have roommates and stuff like that, if they're not on your level, you know, that will bring your energy down for sure. Um, I'll notice if I go, so every now and then I like to go to a coffee shop. You know what I mean? Just to switch up the vibe. I'll notice even at certain coffee shops and stuff, certain people are around and whatnot, a little hustle bustle or lately everyone's just been um, not feeling too good just because the lockdown, right? So anywhere, if I just go out in public at all, it automatically just lowers the vibe because the vibe of others, uh, my auric field can, you know, gets uh, denatured, if you will, by their lower vibe. So environment's crucial. Be very aware of how you feel in the locations that you're working. And yeah, if you have a messy house, if your house is messy, if your room is messy, if your desk is messy, then yeah, that's definitely going to ruin your productivity because then the energy can't really flow properly. It's too cluttered. Um, do you recommend any detox cleanses? Yeah, apple cider vinegar. There's an apple cider vinegar cleanse. Um, my, uh, uh, probiotic, um, you know, uh, my company, Modern Lifestyle. You go to modernlifestyle.com. We make a great probiotic. It's called Fusion. That's phenomenal. Again, that's modernlifestyle.com. Fusion, probiotic. Get your body. Um, probiotics are all the bacteria, gut bacteria. 
So it gives your body a full portfolio of all the diverse bacteria you need to help break down any food. Phenomenal for your gut, as well as apple cider vinegar. The cleanse, the cleanse has got like a whole bunch of things like, like cayenne, honey, like ginseng, a couple other things in there. Um, that and chlorella, chlorella, right? You can find these in any healthy whole foods, natural food stores and whatnot. Those are all great. Next question. How much does relationship come to affect you and should you cut out people for a while? It really depends because, you know, in chances are you're going to attract your energetic equivalent. In life, you attract what you are. So if you're fucked right now, no relationship you have is probably good. Because anyone, any chick or if you're a girl or any guy that is fully aligned and crushing it, isn't going to want to be with someone who's not fully aligned and crushing it, right? So, you know, I'm very grateful that me and my lady both met when we were like pretty complete as people. We, when I say that, we're always growing, but I mean like we know who we are and what we do and why, right? So, you know, she's an artist, she paints, she has a lot of great art. That's her thing, that's, what, that's her vibe. Um, very conscious, really awake. So my relationship is very symbiotic. We build on each other. But I've had many relationships, all of them except this one, honestly, that um, honestly bring you down. All right. Because um, again, like I said, you will attract your energetic equivalent. So if you're, if you don't got it figured out yet, the chances are your partner don't got it figured out yet. So if you're trying to grow and you're trying to get somewhere, I highly recommend you do that alone. I've had to learn that lesson the hard way. People told me this when I was trying to make it work in my relationship and make it work in my business and make it work with everything. That's just, you know, your capacity is so small at the lower levels. And then all that stuff is hard for even seasoned business people. So, you know, you only have so much time and energy in the day. And honestly, if you're not where you need to be just as a man, as a woman, I'd recommend investing 95 to hundred percent of everything into getting yourself where you need to be. So you can show up as that, proper, you know, significant other, the proper son, the proper daughter, proper, the proper husband, proper wife, right? So you can really be who other people deserve you to be. If you're not there yet, just go in a cave and get yourself there. However many months that takes. So yeah, sometimes you got to be a little mean and cut people out. You don't have to say I'm cutting you out of my life. There's many cordial ways you can do this. Um, and write letters to people, explain like, hey, I'm just trying to do this right now with me goals. I can't, I can't fix my relationship and build my business at the same time. But, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Some people have made it happen. Maybe three, four percent of people. I wouldn't bet on that. But thoughts on kombucha. Love it. Drink kombucha. Great for your gut. Do you schedule your weekends to relax? Does it throw you off? You know, if you're just so monk laser focused during the week, you can go to the opposite side of the spectrum and it actually gets a little bit balanced. The problem is when you're kind of fucking around during the week and then you go on a full blown degenerate bender on the weekend, just drinking, doing blow and just fucking, you know, just, just partying and just being degenerate. Like if you do that and if during the week you're not a monk, then you're fucked for sure. Right. If you're going to be going to like negative 100 on the weekend, you better be at positive 100 during the week. And if you're only at like positive 30 and you're going to go to negative 100 on the weekend, yeah, that math does not make sense. So that's what I would say to that. Um, the weekend will not throw you off um, if, unless you've been off the whole week. If you've been on point the whole week, then um, the weekend ends up just being like a recharge, right? Eat some good food, go out, do everything you didn't do during the week, right? If you're just starting out, your ability to shift or, you know, throttle between these two, these two universes with dancing with the devil and just being a laser focused monk, right? That's going to be a little bit difficult. I recommend you do, you know, um, I got this from what's his face, Jason Capital, I think, or something like that. Yeah. He calls it, um, uh, you know, you can be a, you go to the, uh, monastery or the marketplace monastery. Everything's like focused, quiet meditation, monk mode, you know, it's like your work and then, you know, your marketplaces, things to do, people to see, vibes, fun, party, right? I recommend 11 days, 11 days of just monk laser focused, followed by three days of just whatever degenerate, crazy partying, marketplace type of behavior. That seems to work really well. All right. So it's about two times a month, right? 11 days of laser focus. You're just only thinking about your goals. So automatic, no. Someone wants to hang out. Automatic, no. Family's house for dinner. Automatic no. Girlfriend wants to go out. Automatic no. Like just, just automatic no. Tell everybody these eleven days don't fuck with me. These three days, then you can start booking all your important, like you know, family, loved ones, friends, you know, all that stuff on those three days where you can party, right? 
And what happens is you start building retarded, retarded momentum in those 11 days of just laser focus. You know what I'm saying? They just start stacking on top of each other. Like it gets ridiculous. Right. So, um, I recommend that for starters that way. Cause when you're trying to get off the ground and on your business, it gets a certain place. I recommend that 11 days straight laser focus. As you get better, you can kind of do like a five days on two day week, weekend, fuck around then back on, on point by Sunday evening and get ready to crush Monday again. And then Friday will come around Friday evening. And then you just go ahead and let the devil out on Friday evening as you get better. Okay. So next question. How long will it take before you notice the change on your body from switching your diet? Okay. Days, weeks, months, assuming you love junk food. Okay. So yeah, I, I really understand because I'm a big foodie. I really do understand. Um, it's going to take you probably about two to four weeks to even remotely see a difference. You're going to have an initial like burst of like some progress. You know, you'll feel a little bit better. You know, if you're really down in the dumps, you actually might start getting sick eating healthy. You actually might start getting sick because your body doesn't have the bacteria to process the healthy food because it's so used to you feeding it this freaking tar and dirt that it made the bacteria to process that. Now, next thing you know, you got some whole foods, organic salads, meats, greens, veggies, rices, grains, all this healthy stuff. Your body's like, whoa, this isn't what you've been giving us forever. So you actually might make you sick if you're really down down in the you know bad part there. But um, yeah, you want to think about it like clay, right? You take some clay, it's been sitting on the shelf for years, not moving. You put it on the little whatever clay thingy, you know, it starts spinning. You add water and you start like churning and churning and churning. You'll notice that clay has been sitting there not moving for years. So you're, as you apply energy and pressure, it's not going to move. The clay is just not going to move. That's what happens when people do these changes, right? They, you know, start waking up earlier, optimizing their sleep, changing up their diet. But they're in that two to four week lag time where the body is, just, this is what you're doing is so foreign to what you've always done that nothing's really moving. And then your body starts to register it. And the next thing you know, eventually, boom, the clay starts moving and churning and growing. And, and now it's like shaping into something beautiful. All right, so just, if that's you, just stick to it. If nothing's happening, it means you're on the right track. Okay, just stick it out. Stick it out. A couple months, right? You, just, you get the shit down in like three months. Six months will become like pretty routine in six months. In about a year, it'll become part of you. And then in three years, you'll forget the old you ever existed, ever. Three years in the grand scheme of life is not a long time. Not a long time at all. Even six months. If he, even, even if it took you three months of hell and the six months of kind of hell to get this get this shit to build that new neural circuitry around this stuff and rewiring your brain. Even if it just took you only three months, like that's so worth it to live decades of just heaven on earth happiness. All right. So totally worth it. Mm -hmm. Recommended meals per day and thoughts about intermittent fasting. Yeah. The number of meals doesn't matter. Figure out, you know, your normal calories for your day, just for your metabolic rate, whatever. It's 2,500 to 2,500. It's 3,000 to 3,000. All right. Intermittent fasting. I like that because it allows me to conserve energy to then allocate to my work, to my focus, to my creativity. If I'm trying to do high pressure problem solving and I'm digesting food at the same time, I'm not going to be able to think nearly as clearly. Even when I break my fast, I've been fasting the whole day, just only drinking water. When I break my fast, it's gonna be 30, 60 minutes to where I just kind of turn stupid. Stupid relative to my normal capacity. It's gonna take about 50% of my energy to digest the food that I'm eating. So that's why I don't eat during the work day. So I can get the work done much faster, much more efficiently, and at a higher level and produce a better result. That's why I do intermittent fasting. And it makes my cheekbones pop out and I have low body fat. So also, if you do a high-end intermittent fasting routine, because I'm a big foodie as well, it allows me to stuff my face and break my fast around like 5, 6 p.m. And it's from like 5, 6 p.m. So when I go to sleep, I just eat. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, like I'm not eating dumb shit, but I just eat unlimited healthy food. And then it feels so good. I feel like I could just stuff my face all day. Um, but, the, you know, but I'm still only eating like, you know, 30,000, 3,500 calories. I mean, I'm a big guy, so I can eat more. Um, you know, I'm still only eating that. But if I had that all throughout the day, it would seem like I'm not eating that much for, you know, my size. I have a lot of muscle and stuff like that. So, you know, I would think of it like a journey, like an adventure, like figuring out what the best way for you to tackle this stuff would be, right? So regarding to turning back, uh, next question, regarding turning back brain, I meant it as reverse aging. Oh, okay, that guy. Okay, okay, thank you for clarifying. Reverse aging. Yeah, <clears throat> you can. So every seven years, your body will recycle the, uh, your, your cells regenerate. Different, some, some parts of the body, you know, are a couple months, some parts are a couple weeks, 
certain areas and organs take a couple years, but every part of the body, I'm talking your bones, your skin, your organs, tissue, hair, everything will replenish itself within a seven year period. So this is why like, for example, you look at Robert Downey Jr. Uh, he plays Iron Man, you see him in his thirties. He's like getting out of rehab. He looks like he's like 60, you know what I mean? And now he's like 45 or 50 or something like that. And he looks like he's 30 right? Or 35, right? Like that's that reverse aging effect. I believe you're referring to It's because your body will use the nutrients that you give it to rebuild itself, the muscles, the food, the organs, your, you know, livers, kidneys, heart, all that stuff. It's going to use the food you eat to replenish your body. This is why you're killing yourself when you eat half fast food. You're just killing yourself. Literally. You're literally shortening your lifespan, right? So if you do this, but if that has been you, fear not, if you change your lifestyle within a few years and definitely in seven years, but you'll feel the effects much sooner. In a few years, you can literally reverse your aging. You can actually look younger. You can actually be younger. Okay, so 100%, 100% can reverse your age by just eating properly, being happier, being in a higher vibe. And do you do intermittent fasting every day and what time frame? Ah, okay. Last question, last question. Do I do intermittent fasting every day? Yeah, pretty much every day. Um, I break my fast around 5 p.m. And then I stop eating anywhere from like, you know, 10 or 11 p.m. You know, I break my fast between 3 to 5. And then I stop eating around like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. So I fast about a good 18 hours of the day, just not eating, including the time I'm sleeping and in the morning, right? Just fully fasted. I really like that because early mornings, um, do my morning routine, get into work, do the most important stuff right? Get all that stuff done at full power and then enjoy some food. It's like a reward. Um, again, Instagram at Akash Aesthetics. I got to wrap up. I'll run low on time. Akash Aesthetics, DM me. Okay. That's A-K-A-A-S-H Aesthetics, A-E-S-T-H-E-T-I-C-S. Okay. Akash Aesthetics. Shoot me a DM. I'm more, ha I'm more than happy to have like a much more thorough conversation about the subject matter. If you have questions regarding intermittent fasting, reverse aging, other gut cleanses, foods, I have a whole bunch of resources as well as I post a whole bunch more of this kind of content. If you're looking for help on these things, if you're looking for someone to help you achieve everything I just did right now, shoot me a DM. I will not do some sort of hard, hard sales process. If this is resonating with you, shoot me a DM. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk. All right. I have a whole bunch of different packages, affordable ones, not affordable ones that you still do. You should do the not, not affordable one for sure. But just let's have a conversation. I have group coaching stuff. I have stuff for like younger entrepreneurs so that everyone can get this value, get this information in some way, shape or form. Because this, this right here, this is going to fuck your whole life up. Not this. That will. That will. This, that'll be good. That's good. That's, happy. that's why there's a happy face there. There's a lot more green there. So without further ado, guys, that's it for me. Akash Aesthetics Performance Coach. Signing out, looking forward to talking to you guys more on Instagram. Hit me up.